5:16 on Daybreak. Speaking of Niagara Falls, one of the best parts of visiting the falls is arguably the cave of the winds. That takes you as close to the water as you can get. Yeah, it's unbelievable. The catwalk is removed during the off season and then rebuilt every spring. Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill takes us behind the scenes to see how that famous deck gets built. For me, the biggest May attraction in Niagara Falls is watching another attraction get built. As if there wasn't enough to be amazed by around here, these combination carpenters and daredevils are back at their springtime ritual, building the famous deck at the Cave of the Winds. The wooden deck is taken down every October and rebuilt every spring. These guys are working in a constant windy downpour. I'm here on a cloudy 53 degree day and the water temperature is 45 degrees today. Don't try this at home. They are professionals, but let's all agree. What do you think about those guys? I think they're crazy. <laughs> we couldn't do it without them. They are proud of the work that they do, our deck builders, and um, every year they try to outdo themselves. Last year's uh, hurricane deck and Cave of the Winds experience was amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this year brings. That's State Park spokesperson Ange Birdie. Yeah, the winter's ice shifts the boulders around a little every year, so the deck changes a little every year. The men start in April and will be done by Memorial Day weekend. Now the attraction is open year round without the wooden decking. So come on by in the next couple of weeks to see these lunatics in action. It's a safe bet to say there is no one else in the world <laughs> doing a job like this uh, than our deck crew. Um, we're proud of them. They are proud of themselves. They should be. Um, the work they do provides so many memories and excitement. <laughs> Ah, the deck is looking great this year, guys. Great job and good luck. And a reminder to everybody that the water is warmer later in the summer. But yes, the deck will be open for the season Memorial Day weekend. And no passport required. This attraction is only on the American side. Celebrating Western New York, I'm Kevin O'Neill, Channel 2 News.